Madeleine Albright, uh, former Secretary of State. You mentioned it in the opening. Mm -hmm. uh, she was laid to rest today. Uh, Albright died on March 23rd. Uh, so she has been uh, almost a month now, yeah. a little over a month. A little over. A yeah, month. before they buried her. She died March 23rd at age 84 after a fight with cancer, leaving a legacy as a defender of democracy, human rights, and peace. More than 1,400 people, each wearing a face mask at the request of the Albright family, were in attendance. President uh, Biden eulogized Albright at the funeral at the Washington National Cathedral. He called her a force of nature, who through goodness, grace, humanity, and intellect turned the tide of history. Uh, Biden, former President Bill Clinton, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, described how Albright urged other women to interrupt and how, despite her small, her small stature, she wasn't afraid to stand up to America's biggest adversaries. I love that. Bill Clinton, who nominated Albright as the 64th Secretary of State, Shortly after his 1996 re-election, we called in his last conversation with Albright two weeks before she died. He asked her how she was feeling, but she was more interested in talking about the future of the world hmm. in light of the Russian invasion wow. of the Ukraine. She said, the only thing that really matters is what kind of world we're going to leave to our grandchildren. Bill Clinton said he will never forget that conversation. Wow. As long as I live, she's on her deathbed. This is what she's saying wow. to Bill Clinton. Wow. So uh, rest in peace, Madeline Albright. That shows Madeline what type Albright. of woman she was. Yeah. By the way, she was not born in the United States of America. She was, right. in fact... From Czechoslovakia. She was from Czechoslovakia. She was born in Prague in 1937, and she was born wow. into a Jewish family. And in order to save their child, the story goes... They dropped her off at a Roman Catholic orphanage. Wow. She posed as a Roman Catholic, finally started growing up as a Roman Catholic because she posed as a Roman Catholic as a very young girl. Mm -hmm. So that's what she grew up learning, the religion she grew up learning. She ultimately converted to Roman Catholicism. But the parents who dropped her off at, at that orphanage, that orphanage who hid this Jewish girl as a Roman Catholic, saved her life yeah. and look at the life That's that, the she, that of, she ended up yeah. living and, and doing she ultimately she ultimately was a roman catholic and converted and everything but but it's a very unique story she ultimately immigrated to the united states of america her three of her grandparents all died in the holocaust wow right so she is intimately familiar with genocide in For Europe. Sure. Yeah. So quite frankly, what goes around comes around. And although President Biden and some others are calling what what is going on in the Ukraine genocide at the moment, there's certainly a lot of killing. Um, it could be genocide. We'll see. We'll see. Right. We'll see. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.